Sean Sewell with ingimit.com and our beautiful mountains of Colorado per usual, testing out Colorado's very own Zero Shoes Ridgeway Hiker. This thing is brand new as of this video. I think it comes out August of 23. Um, there's a lot to cover in this, sh this shoe. I didn't want to test this shoe, to be honest, and then they sent it over anyways, and I'm so glad they did because it's my new mid-top now. This thing is awesome. In this video, I will tell you why, and also the fit, features, and functions of this attractive, retro-inspired hiking boot, shoe, casual shoe, whatever you're gonna use it for. It's pretty awesome. Let's get into it. First and foremost, we'll start with sizing. I am six foot one, 215 pounds, size 11 and a half, and almost all shoes, this is an 11 and a half, and it fits really good out of the box. The other pair of shoes they sent, the Scrambler Low, are 11 and a half, and those fit so well, I've not taken them off since they sent them in. Not saying quite a bit. A little background. Um, a really fun episode of the Engagement Podcast about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we had Stephen Sashin, the owner of Zero Shoes, on, as well as the author of Born to Run and Born to Run 2, uh, Christopher McDougall, and his trainer, Eric Orton. And we had a great discussion, uh, had a fun time. We were, they weren't pitching Zero Shoes, we were just talking about barefoot, low profile shoes in general, how they got into that, their why. That was a really great conversation. We'll Rickers put that together. Uh, towards the end of that interview, I asked some training questions off camera and I should have had the camera on and it was so fun. We're gonna do a round two, so stay tuned for that. But if you don't know, Zero Shoes, Colorado-based company, founded by Stephen Sashin, who we had in the podcast. Great guy, really funny, very intelligent. And so basically, you know, when they started, they were making Rocha style sandals, very, I actually bought a pair, like do-it-yourself kit sandals. Um, a lot of people swear by those. But, you know, I, I don't wanna wear sandals when I'm hiking out in terrain, like you see behind us on trails that are variable, covered in mud, there's a big patch of mud right there, um, as well as like grapple and snow and just roots and rocks. So shoes, shoes are nice. Um, or boots in this case. So this one, my goodness, it has you covered. And when I, I kind of tease you at first, the reason I didn't want to review this is on paper when they send over, hey, pick out a shoe or two to, to try out. And I picked out the Scrambler, and I'm wearing those right now. So if we get a video, Whoops, Scrambler, my new favorite shoes. And then they're like, the Ridgeway, you like that too? And I was like, no, it looks like it's really heavy. It, it's not, it's 13 ounces. And the, those shoes I just showed you, the low tops are nine ounces, which is lightweight. But, uh, these are very lightweight for as substantial of a boot as they are. You get the proprietary waterproof technology, zero tech waterproof. So yeah, you can get into the puzzle and all that. And then check out this nice suede, as well as like this canvas, very retro, but yet very attractive. And this aesthetic is my favorite part of the aesthetic. The colors are sharp, I dig that. I, I really like the tread, which I'll get to in a minute. But this right here, I don't know, it's like an optical illusion. This is a zero drop shoe with a 12 millimeter drop, but doesn't look like it. I will say that sometimes when I see a zero drop shoe, or you know, a zero shoe, I'm like, oh, I know it's comfortable and functional, but it's kind of ugly. Um, they fixed that <laughs> with this. So it looks like this has a, a heel, right? And so somehow to most people that, myself especially, that looks a little bit better. So now you get the best of both worlds. You get the functionality of the zero drop shoe, which you know I've talked in the reviews why I like that so much, with the aesthetic of a traditional shoe, whatever you want to call that, with the aesthetic of this really cool retro, and then you get this padded collar around your ankle, which is really, really comfortable. And then the traction, look at this traction. That is some good, beefy, sticky traction. And then, um, the laces stay in place. This is, this is the small things, and I'm glad Steve and the team did this chase out. They will stay in place right there. So, uh, they won't, because sometimes you're hiking boots, you have to untie them, you need to loop them through each time. Nope, you can leave them right here. So, that's something I look for. It's the little, little things. That's you review 100, 200 pairs of shoes and boots. It's the little things that make the biggest difference, in my opinion. Um, I mentioned it's a 12 millimeter stack, so, you know, just enough stack to keep you from really feeling the, the cracks in the snow and the, the ruts and all that garbage going, not garbage, all that stuff on the trail. Uh, pr 
the, the price is fair. I think they're like 130 or 140, 150 around there. Um, I'll put the exact price below. But yeah, they are attractive, they are comfortable, and I'm so glad they sent them over. It's a nice surprise. I, I'm pleasantly surprised with them, and they're gonna be in my rotation all the time now for use uh, for the rest of the year, for next year as well. Probably be my new uh, hiking boots, as well as my casual everyday boots for needing in waterproof um, conditions. Like when I go walk the dog in the morning, there's dew on the grass. And then of course here, I'm counting down the days, about two months in this area will be covered in snow. So I can wear these in the snow. Pretty awesome stuff. I'll put a link below if you do care to purchase. Hopefully you found this helpful. Sean Sewell, the owner and director stoke for Ingrimit.com. This is the Zero Ridgeway Hiker MSRP 140. It goes live, I believe, August 22nd of 2023. And um, it's good stuff. Until next time, take care.